Radios with a USB port can control a USB storage device or an iPod using the radio buttons. The USB connector is located in the center console. Please note, the iPod and iPhone must utilize the special cable shipped with the CTS. Connect one end of the USB cable to the iPod and connect the other end to the USB port located in the center console. If you have an older iPod model that is not supported, it can still be connected to the auxiliary input jack using a standard 3.5 mm stereo cable. Using the radio controls and buttons, you can control the iPod. Use the Tune button to turn to select files. Press the Seek button to go to the next track. Press the Reverse button to reverse playback quickly. Press the Forward button to advance playback quickly. The five soft keys located below the radio display can also be used to select tracks. Tracks can be searched for by using the menu system. To use the menu system, push the Menu Select knob to display the MP3 menu. Turn the knob to highlight an option from the MP3 menu. The available options are Playlists, Tracks, Folders, Artists, Albums, Song Titles, and Audiobook. The radio can play MP3 or WMA files that were recorded onto a CDR or CDRW disc. The USB port can play MP3 and WMA files that are stored on a USB storage device as well as the files that are stored on an iPod. USB supported devices are the USB flash drives, portable USB hard drives, fifth generation or later iPod, iPod Nanos, iPod Touch, iPod Classic, not all iPods and USB drives are compatible with the USB port. Make sure that the iPod has the latest firmware from Apple for proper operation. iPod firmware can be updated using the latest iTunes application. See apple.com forward slash iTunes for more information. For help with identifying your iPod, go to apple.com forward slash support.